Hi guys, Ancient Warrior. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Prepping USA. Let's talk about defense forces, militias. Since the 80s, most militias and have gotten a bad name, a bad rap because of a few crazies. You know, it's hard for me to tell people not to be part of a militia. Because we're all, I think it's from 16 to 65 or 70 or 107, we're all part of the standing militia to defend this country. So, guys, if you belong to a militia, if you belong to the Minutemen, Three Percenters, uh, Sheepdogs, whatever group you belong to, and you've been called out to go down onto the border and back the military law enforcement up. Do it. Keep your weapons cold. Unless things go sideways, you know. If it goes pear-shaped, first thing you need to do is remember is to remember that no plan, no matter what, what the plan is, never survives first contact. I'm sure that some of the defense, Texas Defense Forces are going to be down there. Because it looks like they're going to probably try to breach down in the down in our uh, Rio Grande Valley somewhere. I pray it doesn't happen, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to come into a full shooting war. Yeah, the Hondurans and others. try to persist, try to pull what they did down in Guatemala. So, with that being said, God bless America. God bless our militia and defense forces. Pray for our law enforcement and our men and women in uniform. Remember, patriots, we never know when the last stand is going to happen. So, be prepared. Have a good day. And remember, if you've got food, water, and protection in your home, you live in free America. But if you don't, there's somebody going to be standing there with a sign saying, Welcome to, to FEMA Camp X-Ray, and you're, that's where you're going to die. Have a good day.